Hey everybody, today we are back at Residences at Capital View looking at our 1E floor plan. This is a one bedroom, one bathroom home, so if you're interested in seeing it, then stay tuned. Right now my back is to the front door of this um, 1E home. So you do have two entryways through here. You have a nice entry space in here. So I would probably put like a small table or something to put my keys on here, maybe some like hanging shelves or floating shelves. Um, I think that would be a really cute way to make the space personalized um, and still make the most of this area right here. I like that you also have this space away from the home. It feels very separated, but also like it has a nice entry and flow into your apartment home. Next to me is gonna be the water heater closet. And then to point out as well, this is gonna be a coat closet, um, a pantry. It's really whatever you want to make it, but you do have this additional storage right here in the entryway before we get into the rest of the home. So as we make our way through, I do wanna point out that this is a very open floor plan. Um, so you have a nice island right here, um, tons of storage underneath, your dishwasher is of course right here. And then you have a very open floor plan into the kitchen and the living area, perfect for entertaining or hosting. Um, you have tons of room in here. And then over here is gonna be the kitchen. So this kitchen does have custom floor to ceiling cabinetry. That's a Northwood Raven signature staple. Another Northwood Raven signature staple is gonna be the wine rack above the fridge. So you can display all of your bottles in there. Even if you aren't a drinker, I think you could still find a way to maximize that space um, and fill it with some really pretty cups or um, some of your items that really feel personal to you. I like that we have this glass cabinet right here. This is another way to display your items. You can adjust the rack heights. So if you have some really like tall long stem glasses or um, shorter mugs or something like that, you can adjust that space in there. But once again, a really, really pretty custom kitchen. Um, you do have stainless steel appliances throughout. And then of course you have this really nice pretty um, quartz countertop. And then you also see the same over there with white subway tile backsplash through here. And then in here, I would probably put like a very long couch or a really nice seating area, something like that to maximize the space. You can mount your TV on this wall. Um, you do have a cable outlet right here, so if you wanted to mount a TV and get cable, you totally could. I would probably put like an area rug down or something um, to really fill the space and make it feel like home. You do have a really, really pretty balcony out here. It has a nice screen door, and it opens to this gorgeous view of downtown Nashville. So we are located just north of the Gulch, uh, but you do have a really nice long balcony right here. And actually this door over here connects in your bedroom. So you have two entrances for your balcony. So now after the balcony, we're gonna make our way into the bedroom over here. But before we do, I just wanna point out that you do have a washer and dryer that comes already installed in the home for you. So move-in day when you pick up your keys, it will be in here waiting for you. So you have a front load washer and dryer. They are full-size Whirlpool appliances. Um, just an added touch of convenience for you. You don't have to worry about bringing yours with you. And then your bedroom is gonna be through this way. So you have a really, really nice sized room here. Um, it's actually a really interesting shape, which I would probably take advantage of. It's kind of angled on that wall. So you could put a queen or king bed. This is a really nice sized room to accommodate either. You could put nightstands next to it because you do have dueling outlets right there. You can mount the TV on this wall. And then you do have this like additional bump out of space to work with. So I could put, um, a desk there, you could put bookshelves there, you could put a chair there, you could really maximize the room in here. And then once again, you do have an entrance to your balcony right here. And then through here is gonna be the master closet. Um, so you have tons of rack storage and room in here for all of your items. You have room under here for a laundry basket, floor storage, whatever it might be. And then behind me, you have this really cool built-in shelves. So you don't really see built-ins in a lot of apartment homes, um, but we did this as a nice touch Kind of just suffices a linen closet if you wanted to make it that. You could put towels here, additional clothing. Um, you have options to play with here, but I really like that we have this custom storage before we head into the bathroom. And then your bathroom is gonna be through this way. So it does connect to the kitchen. If you wanted to close that door off, you could lock it from the inside so nobody could have access to your bathroom unless they were to come through your bedroom, or you could open it up the way we have it. Next to that is gonna be a single sink vanity. Um, if you can tell, the ceilings are really, really high in here. So it does feel very grand and luxurious. You have tons of storage underneath the sink. Um, it's the same cabinet color as the trim color that we've seen continue throughout the entire home. You do have chrome finishes. And then once again, white quartz countertops that are really, really pretty. Um, you have tons of counter space here. And then you also have storage underneath as well. A really, really big mirror. 
And then I love the shower in this home. The shower is my absolute favorite. Um, I love the way that our tile goes floor to ceiling, so it doesn't break at the top. It goes all the way up, which I think is awesome. Um, it's not something you see in a lot of apartment homes. You do have a bench in here as well. Um, and the same tile that's in here, the ceramic marble tiles continued in the shower as well. You have a rainfall shower head and it really, really is a large space in here. And then your toilet is kind of tucked away to the back for some privacy. So our 1E is a very rare floor plan here at Capital View. Um, but if you are interested in seeing some of our other floor plans or potentially figuring out when we do have availability in this particular one, then give us a call and let us know. Or you can head over to residences at capitalview.com for some more information.